Welcome back to the channel guys and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do your hunter service hour or just your after winterizing or your break in period on your outboard Mercury just like I'm about to do now. So I've got a Mercury 150 on a Tahoe and today we're going to go ahead and do the break in period portion where you're going to do the oil change, the lower unit fluid, the fuel filter. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it step by step. I'm also going to show you what you guys are going to need. And let's get into it. So first off, go ahead and pick this bad guy up right here. It's going to come with a oil filter, fuel filter, your oil that you need. And it's going to come with your gear lube for your lower unit. The things you're going to have to go pick up is going to be one of these pumps for the lower unit fluid to pump it back in. And you're going to need this hose here uh, says to get 7 16 didn't have any I got half inch it still works uh, you're gonna need a screwdriver 5 8 wrench and you're going to need a 1 inch for the impeller whether that's a wrench or a socket like this and you're gonna need a drain pan and a scrap piece of wood just to hold the impeller so that, yep down there so that way you can get this nut off right here so first step of it all is to have the motor inclined like this to get any extra uh, oil that's in this motor out. And then you're going to go ahead, do that, let it sit for a bit. I've already let it sit. Take it down. Back down to vertical. And that is how you're gonna drain your oil. So right now, I have the motor up so it's easier to work on, so that way we can get to this nut, pull this whole assembly off, make it a little bit easier. And then once we uh, get to this, there are these little tangs in here that lock this nut in place so it will not fall off. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and remove these, or go ahead and uh, take a screwdriver. We're gonna bang these down, make them flush, and then we're going to go ahead, take this nut off. So, all you're gonna do here is just get a screwdriver behind there and just start to pry that. And get that nice and flat. It's not flat yet, but I'm gonna take a hammer, try to bang that down, get it all nice and flat. And then do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, now you can see those two are flush down there. I uh, couldn't show you guys because can't hold a hammer, a screwdriver, and a camera at the same time. So you go ahead, get your one inch socket on there, and then go ahead and set it to where it's up against that two by four there. And then go ahead and turn it to loosen it. Go ahead and take this nut off. Get that piece of two by four out of there. And then go ahead and set that nut aside and just pull this whole impeller off all at once. We're going to set this right here. So what you're gonna have here, um, you're gonna have your retention ring right here and then this little uh, spline that locks into the impeller and then the impeller itself. So, just get in there with the screwdriver, unscrew it, take this all the way out. And then, we go ahead and take our pan here, put it underneath. Get your fingers in there. Get it unscrewed the rest of the way. All right, that came off. And then you also have this little gasket washer here that's going to help seal the system. Set that right there. Then 
Here we go ahead and lower this unit down. Keep this pan underneath it. Then, going to come right over here to this screw and undo this screw here. So you're gonna have two screws and once you undo that one, you're gonna see all the fluid start to leak out here. So go ahead and put both those screws off to the side. Go ahead and let that drain out. And then as that's draining, we're gonna go ahead and do the engine oil also. Which if you come up from where that screw was, right here is how you drain your engine oil. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that uh, clear hose that we had and you're going to hook it up into this. Loosen this up and then hook it up. All right, so as you can see, we got the hose hooked up right there. And then we got that five inch wrench on here. And we're just going to turn to loosen. And of course, she's gonna have her hose going right into there. And this is all just so you do not make a mess. Then go ahead, turn it out. You start to see the oil flowing out. Then you're good. Go ahead and just uh, let it all drain out. And once it's all good and drained, then I'll get right back to you. All right, so now while all that's draining out, I'm gonna bring it over here. So you got your little fuel filter here, and then it also has these new washer gaskets for your bolts here. So these two are gonna go on. As you can see, one side has the green, and one side is just yellow. So, what you can do is kind of look at these. See, it's all, all yellow on this side, and then when you pull it back a little bit, you'll see the green on the other side. So that's how you know the orientation of how that washer is going to go on there. Now, while we're waiting, we're going to go ahead and do the fuel filter. So what you're going to do is pop this lever here. Push this cowl up, and now that the cowl's up, we're gonna go ahead and just take it off. All right, so when it comes to getting the fuel filter out, you got this tab here, it's got the little arrow, so you're gonna pull it towards you, and it's gonna slide out from underneath that, and then you're gonna go ahead and just pull it up. You're gonna have to put some pressure on that there. And then once you get her out, then you're just gonna have to wiggle it all out here. All right, yeah, I'm gonna need two hands for this, but uh, yeah, that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna pull her up. All right, so now we got her pulled out. So it's got these quick disconnects right here. So you're gonna push these in and then pull that up. And then one thing you're gonna to wanna to remember is don't let go of this bottom portion here. Cause if you let go of it, it will snap back down. And then you, it's just gonna be a pain in the butt to try to get that out. So push this in, pull up on the filter, it'll pop it loose. And then you're just gonna take your other filter out. You see how the one side is bezeled out and the other side isn't same as this one so you're just gonna hook it up the exact same way so once you get the other side off it's the exact same you're just gonna push the button um then you're gonna take this off here get rid of the old one then the new one's right there go ahead and slide this on top of that and then reconnect it it just slides right in all right so now we got the old one out the new one's back in um couldn't really show it to you because you do have to like wiggle uh so one thing i found is there's this hose right here it kind of wraps underneath this plate so for you to get it out easiest way is to push that out and then as you're pulling it out grab that line and pull it towards you to make it clear of this plate right here 
So now that that's done, we got this tightened up because that's all finished draining. That's finished draining. Now we have the oil filter. So we're gonna do the oil filter, which I don't, definitely not hand tight. Um, so what we're gonna do is take this little tool right here, slide it right over it. Yeah, I'm gonna need two hands for this too. But anyways, you get to just, uh, it's a gripper. What it does is it just grips it like that and then pulls it over. Um, and then this is gonna loosen up. And you're also gonna take your hose that you had from down there because there is this little plug right here below it. You're gonna remove this. So now that opens up this little drain port because you have this little catch pan right here that's going to catch all the oil that comes from this filter and then you're going to hook your hose up to it to run back down to your pan so that way you don't make a mess inside your uh, engine compartment all right so once you get this all loosened up where you can actually turn it with your hand um go ahead and hook your hose up make sure it's running down and then you're just going to unscrew this Then you'll see there's just a little bit of oil is dripping down. There's really not much. Um, it's just oil filter. And most of it has been drained already. Um, but that's why that catch pan is there. So that way um, anything that does go, it's not gonna leak down into here. Um, so now the next step is to take the new one here. And this is what I always learned um, being an automotive mechanic. Uh, when it comes to this o-ring you have this o-ring here and it's just a rubber o-ring that's what seals it take a little bit of the oil and rub it all around that o-ring there and what that's going to do is that's going to save this o-ring from being damaged for any reason and it's also going to make it to where when it does have to come off that o-ring is not going to get stuck right here like the old one so as you can see the old o-ring is right here because you can see it's super dry so that's where that o-ring was supposed to be but instead it was stuck up there so that's why you're going to put just a little bit of lubricant on this so that way when it does come to taking this one off, uh, it's gonna come right off. It's not going to stick to it uh, like the old one did. So then when it comes to putting it on, just line your threads up, screw it on there. And all you need with this is for it to be hand tight. So now it's hand tight, it's all good to go. So now, Pull this hose off, you got your filter good, you got this good, this has got a new filter on it. So now what we're gonna do is come down here and we're gonna start doing the uh, lower unit fluid. All right, so it's really hard for me to try to show it, um, but as you can see, you got the bolt back in there. Um, what you're gonna do is that is your drain plug, but it's also your fill plug. So you're gonna leave the vent plug out Put your uh, filler in right there and then pump it until you start to see fluid come out of the vent one up here this top this one up top and then once the fluid starts coming out there then you know it's full so then you can go ahead and put this plug in down here and that plug back in and then you're good to go for your lower unit fluid so now the last and final step of all this is to take your oil that you got up here you got this cap right here so you're gonna take this cap off and then go ahead fill up your oil back into the motor and then just like that put your cowl back on 
and then you're done. That is your 100 hour service or what I did for my break in service. So that's it, that easy. All right, so now we've successfully got our boat ready to go for the summer. Now, the only thing I left out is you're going to want to A, check the fluid, make sure you know your oil's good and everything else uh, by the dipstick, and B, go ahead and start the motor up and then go ahead and look at everything that you've worked on, make sure there's no leaks, nothing like that, um, because that would be an expensive fix over something that could just be so simple as just tightening up something, you know what I mean? If you like this kind of content, uh, go ahead and do me a solid and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the little bell notification so it'll tell you whenever there's a new video coming out. Uh, go ahead and like, drop a comment. Let me know, like, did the video help you out or, you know, what? Like, anything. Drop a comment, drop a like. It helps out the YouTube algorithm a lot. We're on the way to 1,000 subscribers and we hope to get there very soon. So, go ahead. And I'll see you guys next time.